Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Kendra G gets called a pick me. You can never tell black women to settle. No more wasting time, guys. Let's get it. You saying maybe you should not want a man with money so that you can find someone who makes you happy. And I am saying you should not push back on somebody's preference just so they can find happiness. That is a settlement. You should never encourage black women to settle. The fact that black well, women let me let me let me just the, okay. Please, can I finish my statement? Just no, you can't. Statement. Let me no no. Now you gonna listen. Gotcha. Now, uh -oh. you, gotcha. now you gonna listen. Because right. I listen right. to you, so now you gonna listen. Right. It's let me know. It's, it's giving no, pick me. It's, it's giving not, pick me. It's giving pick me, and you do this to every black woman that comes on here. But you watch uh -oh. my show, honey. But you, but you hear at me. four o'clock in the morning. I love differing opinions. Right I love differing opinions. Show, so why are you here? Pick me, Kendra. You feel, Just because you, feel you don't that have way, high standards for yourself, me Kendra, doesn't mean that you can't have high standards for If you feel yourself. that way, you want to settle. We don't have to. Guys, this right here is a real full circle moment for Kendra G, and this is why I still remember. The last conversation that was public that Kendra G had with Kevin and like many other people who had a problem with Kevin Samuels the problem was always the approach right and then you had people who thought well why can't he just fix his approach if he just was a little bit nicer they would want to drink that coffee drink the coffee it'll make you feel better if he was just a little bit more patient they would like that coffee but they were mistaken man they thought like Kendra G probably thought she could repackage the same message because that's what she's doing right now. Her platform is, well, let's not lie here. Let's be honest. Her platform is basically what Kevin Samuels was doing. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. And as a content creator, you can learn a lot from that. Even my platform was, is a lot similar from other people, right? Don't reinvent the wheel. Um, do what's working. But back to the point that I was trying to make. She thought, like many other people thought, like, hey, if I just repackage the message a little bit better, if I smile more, if I'm just a little bit nicer, women, modern women will understand. But boy, was she wrong because obviously this chick did not like that coffee. This coffee smells like shit. You see, guys, it was inevitable that Kendra G was going to run into the same exact issues that Kevin Samuels ran into and other content creators run into. I've spoken to women too when they talk to women. The same exact issue. And what is that? Well, it's that the modern woman regardless of what she brings to the table. She's looking for a man, the majority of them are looking for a man who can support a family of two, three or more without her having to contribute to any major bills. And when you show these women the small pool of men who can afford to do that and ask them, hey, what do you bring to the table when they're overweight and they have problems and you tell them, hey, why don't you just look for an average man? They laugh. They say things like, you can never tell a black woman to settle. You can't tell a black woman to settle. That is ridiculous. And that there, guys, is the issue. It's the issue within the black community. It's also the issue outside of the black community. There's a lot of people out there who think this doesn't exist outside. Go do more research on YouTube. You find out that other races also run into the same exact issue. Average women don't see value in the average man. And... Kendra did not understand this. She will understand this more because she'll become a villain. It's just a matter of time. Unless if she feeds into the delusion, she will become a villain. Listen, you'll be more successful and less hated if you're Derek Jackson. Women don't want reality, right? They don't want to drink that coffee. They drink tea. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> and guys, I want to make something else really clear. I do support um, most of what Kendra G is doing right now. I do think she brings a different perspective and I'm not saying she should be silenced. I don't, I don't, I don't think that way. You know, I don't think she should be muted. I don't think anybody with opposing views should be muted at all, but I'm not against what she's doing right now. And the reason why, when I talk about Kendra G, I often talk about Kevin Samuels is that was my introduction to who she was before that. I didn't know who she was. I've been in the you know, space that I'm in, uh, male space creating content for a while. I remember when Kevin Samuels had like 50K subscribers when I was kind of watching him and then went back and was like, damn, this is some good content. And then started watching him more. This was before I was creating content, right? But I was watching him and other content creators. And when Kevin Samuels blew up, Kendra G had a conversation with him publicly. Conversation didn't go the way she wanted it to. She went on her platform, started talking a bunch of shit. I'm gonna play that video. Um, in a little bit here, but that was my introduction to her, but she didn't agree with a lot of what he said. Um, 
And a lot of it was an emotional argument. It wasn't based on the facts. It was an emotional argument, which that's a failed argument. You can't argue about emotions, right? You can't control the way people feel when they hear the truth. But just to remind you guys her thoughts and her sentiments towards KS, I wanna play this video. And I'm not making this video, I'm not playing this to say that Kendra G is some type of chameleon and she doesn't believe in what she's doing. No, I honestly believe that she's now coming to a realization that maybe what KS was saying, what he was doing, his main message is that modern women today, average women don't understand what they qualify for. Maybe he might have been right. That's all, right? I don't, I'm not trying to bash her. I'm not trying to say she should be canceled. I enjoy some of her current content, but let's check this out just as a reminder. Kevin Samuels, you know, the one thing I forgot to ask you when I was on your platform is where's your wife? Where is the woman that you are married to that can prove your thought process on what it takes to have a successful black family actually works because you have one yourself? But then I realized you're not even married. Not only are you not married, you have been married twice, divorced twice. So therefore, you mean to tell me you know all that it takes to have a successful marriage, but it didn't even work in your own life. Interesting. Another question I failed to ask is, where are your children? Are you a father? Now, I still don't know the answer to this question. So there's two possibilities. A, you could not be a father. And then I would be like, okay, married twice, no kids. That seems odd. Do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Hmm. Okay, so uh, as expected, she's going through the same type of like insults that women usually use, right? The sign language, um, shame, insults, guilt, and need to be right. Okay, that almost got me. <laughs> but she's going through that whole thing that women usually do, right? They will not address the facts. They will not address the argument. Now she's talking, are you erectile dysfunction? Hmm, I, so, so typical, man. Let's keep watching. But I don't know, because then again, you could be a father. And then I would say, you left the black family unit in order to- Keep, keep in mind, Sorry for pausing a bunch of times, guys. Keep in mind that she's getting on KS, right? She was getting on him back then for him not being married and giving advice. And if I'm not mistaken, she's about 40 years old and unmarried. I don't, I didn't see a husband on her Instagram page, unless if she's hiding the dude, right? But unmarried, getting on a man for being unmarried and giving advice when she is obviously doing the same thing. <laughs> Let's keep watching. Pursue a YouTube career. It was more important for you to have a platform tearing down black women instead of being married to the woman who gave birth to your child. But I don't know if you're a father or not. But either way, both of those options seem a little fishy to me. Coming from a woman who's currently building a YouTube channel, which I don't understand what it has to do with um, being married or not being married. But what I'm trying to point out is the irony in what she's doing now versus who she was in the past or what she was saying in the past. Now, she could have changed her opinions on even this video. Like that's one thing about YouTubers a lot of people don't know is not every video, especially videos that are made in the past, line up with the way someone may think currently. But we don't know that because she hasn't actually spoken on that. And I think it's important that people address some of that stuff. I've addressed things I used to think, used to believe that I that I don't believe anymore. Let's keep watching. And speaking of which, you actually owe every single black woman a thank you card because you're nothing without us. Let me say that clearly. Kevin Samuels, you are nothing without the black woman because your popularity is based off of tearing down black women and it further proves the notion that the black woman is the least protected woman person being on the planet Earth because the black man even is taking joy and bringing her down. Now, yes, there's a thing as constructive criticism, and I will give you that. And when I was on your platform, I even said, there are certain things that you have stated that I agree with. But what I realize is not coming from a place with love. Here it's we coming go. from a mean-spirited place, and that will not cause a change. If anything, you are the <laughs> to the black man and black woman relationship because you are dividing us further apart. I have never seen more black men attack black women for issues of being a mother, for being overweight, or for not having a job, or for not being married by a certain age until you came along. All right, so this is another point I really wanted to address. People who say Kevin Samuels and other content creators are responsible for the, um, the way men think towards black women. 
That's not true. It is not true at all. And it's, and it's ignorance, right? What happened was social media. To the audience, they stumble on channels that address relationships and issues of dating from a male perspective. And they think, wow, these guys are responsible for the way men think. No, men have had these conversations in closed circles. They couldn't have these conversations on public platforms. Why? Because they were gatekeepers and they were heavily monitored, right? On public mainstream platforms, men could not get there and speak their truth. What happened was social media democratized access to a global audience. It wasn't Kevin Samuels who started these conversations and now um, black men and women are at odds. No, it's men have had thoughts that they've wanted to express but have not had platforms to express them to a larger audience. And social media, YouTube in specific in this case, gave access to a global audience and people subscribe and want to listen to conversations that relate to the way that they think. That's what happens. Kevin Sammons would not have had the same access to men as he did having a message that most men resonated with and wanted to talk about. Conversations that men were having in the locker rooms and barber shops were now being had in public. It was that, meaning social media. It was a timing thing. It all meant at the right time and the message went viral. Let's finish up this video. And it's actually really sad because black men and black women, we really need to work together. We really need to function together because that's when we excel to our highest level. I agree. And to the men who do support Kevin Samuels that are fathers to little girls, um, do you want your own daughters to follow his teachings? Do you want your daughters to be raised to feel as though the pressure to focus on just finding a man that's willing to marry them, that she can have babies by, and forget all her other dreams because becoming a housewife is the most important goal that she should have. Is that what you want your own daughters to focus on? And someone will say, well, Kendra, you're not married, so yes. why should they listen to you? You know what? I would give you that. But why listen to him? Oh, we got our, we got our confirmation there that she's not married. And you know what she says? Well, why listen to him? Well, I'm not married. Why listen to him? <laughs> oh, man. This is some interesting coffee, man. Let's let's finish this video up. If you want to become a wife, guess what? Talk to wives. Talk to women who are married because they are doing the one thing you would like to do. Then why are you giving advice? If only people who are currently married should be giving advice, why are you giving advice, Kendra G? Why are you giving advice? I don't have a problem with you giving advice. I think you should give advice, but based on your logic, you shouldn't be giving advice. I shouldn't be giving advice. Steve Harvey shouldn't be giving advice. I mean, pretty much every person, Oprah Winfrey, right? Who's not currently married as far as I know, or she has like a man, but I don't think she's married. Shouldn't be giving advice. Who should be giving advice? Why talk to a 51 year old man who doesn't have a wife for himself, who is still happily dating? And to the men who are single, if you want to become husbands, you do the same. Talk to married men and they can tell you the truth about finding a wife and what is really important. Because at this moment, it seems like y'all made the modern day mister from the color purple your king. All right, I'm going to stop it right there and I'm going to conclude this video, guys. Um, the one thing she said there about men, find other men who are married who you want to take advice from. Men have no problem taking advice from married men, but they have to also respect those men. They don't want to take advice from a simp. They don't want to take advice from a beta male who's running a relationship like Russell Wilson, which is ironically the argument that she got into with Kevin Samuels. In that conversation with Kevin Samuels, she was the women who she's now trying to advise. One of the main disagreements that she basically had with Kevin Samuels was him saying, hey, you know, if you want a certain caliber man, you're going to have to learn to play the background. You're going to have to not be the strong boss, independent woman. And she couldn't understand that. And to show an example of a situation that works with the type of man that she's looking for or other women are looking for, she used Russell Wilson, right? Who is a millionaire who wifed up a woman who was in an unfortunate situation, single mother, etc. I mean, you really can't make this shit up, man. That was one of the main disagreements. And Kevin Samuels was trying to get her to see like, hey, there is no society that uplifts a woman within a relationship. And he goes on to say where I come from, I don't know many men who respect Russell. They look at him like he's a simp. He could be a great person. I'm not trying to say Russell Wilson is a bad human being. But when guys think of an ideal situation, 
to be married. They don't look at Russell Wilson. Man. The irony in all this is the woman who was calling her pick me for saying, hey, maybe you should be more realistic with your standards. That's what she wanted. She wants a man she doesn't qualify for while she brings absolutely nothing that that man values to the table. They don't want the truth. They don't want that coffee. No, um, I'll have a tea actually. Hey guys, as always, curious to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys saw this topic, the whole video. Um, I've been contemplating doing like an evolution of Kendra G, but this might be good enough. If you guys actually want to see like a more extensive video, again, this might be good enough. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, man, I appreciate you guys for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace. Thank you.